Well, I'm going to talk about a revolutionary bait that has really changed the way that a lot of people fish and compete. It, we call it a stick bait. That's kind of the generic term. It's a, a Senko is really the first one that came out. I'm going to talk about that. And it's uh, uh, a lot of people think it's simplistic. You know, you just cast it out there and, and fish it weightless. But I'm going to dive in. And I'm going to show you all the different ways that I've found to rig it. And I have been, I've won a lot of money rigging that Senko. Uh, a bunch of different ways and uh, I'm really going to dive in. That's what we're going to talk about. And here, this right here is a tip that is one tournaments for me and it's a powerful, powerful flipping technique. And I call it the drag and drop. And I think I'm going to be talking about it on the, on the next page, but I'm going to talk about it right now. It's called the drag and drop. And what I do when I'm fishing this, when I'm pitching with the Senko, is I don't pitch into the hole. I pitch beyond it, okay? Five to ten feet beyond the hole, whatever the mat of vegetation I'm fishing. And I drag it to the hole and drop it. Re reel up, pitch to the next hole, drag it and drop it. If you're fishing a weed edge, pitch up on the grass bed, drag it off and then drop it. Well, what, everybody here has probably fished a, a frog of some sort where we're fishing on top of the mats, right? That's what we're doing. We're trying to, those fish are feeding up and we're trying to capitalize on that, that, that ferocious strike that comes when they bust through the surface. But how many times have we been out frog fishing and they won't come up, you know? Or they'll blow on it and miss and knock the frog six feet out of the way, leave a big hole and never get it, right? Well, with this presentation is outstanding because now when, you, when you're dragging, a lot of times, boom, they'll come up and bust right on it. And then all you do is slack your line and the bait falls right in the hole that was just made by the fish you got him, automatic, you know, he's, because he blows that hole in the grass and then he sees, he was trying to, to uh, injure whatever was up there and, if, and he sees it falling through the hole in the grass and boom, he'll just come right over and get it. It's just, it's automatic. So dragging and dropping is, is just a crit, and it's a subtle thing. It's a real subtle difference between just flat out pitching in the holes. But when you, when you get on that bite where they're feeding up, and they won't hit a frog, this technique, if you do it consistently all day, you'll be putting yourself around the big fish. No question about it, but it's, it's been a critical one for me. And the key is you gotta have a, a jig head that has a four aught hook, it's gotta be a pretty powerful hook, okay? You don't wanna use a jig head with a little tiny two aught or light wire, okay? Uh, Senko is a big bait and it catches big fish so you're going to need a bait that can, you can get hook penetration and gives you a good chance of catching those bigger fish. So uh, the only other difficult part is you got to get good at screwing that on. That's, that's a little tricky, especially when you're catching fish and you're shaking and you're trying to get that bait up back screwed onto the hook. It's a little tricky, but you get used to it. But that's the best way to do it. And it because any other jig head on the Senko, is, it, the Senko rips so easily that it doesn't hold very well. Okay, so you go through your baits, they fall off, it's difficult to fish, but the screw lock system, boy, that's tip top. And you want to have at least one with a four aught. And I also recommend uh, the jig heads, like the screwed up jig head had is, is about a 45 degree pull. Okay, like if you're, the ball of your jig head is here, the standard uh, line tie is directly on top of the ball. Well, you want one that's out in front. Okay, it's going to make it a lot more weedless. It's going to come through the cover a lot better, come through with moss, grass, and all that stuff. Hey, I'm Pete Gluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's going to allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're going to catch some big <laughs> fish. 
Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bass University TV exclusive.